So read on a little bit through uh, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Don Network. Uh, Ambassador, very good to have you. What do you make of this action? It was well telegraphed, obviously, but what do you make of it? Well, I think it's a continuation of the effort by the administration to put maximum pressure uh, on Iran. As you know, they weren't only uh, unhappy with the uh, the JCPOA, the, which dealt with nuclear uh, weaponry and so forth, but they also uh, didn't like the fact that the previous administration really concluded no agreements with Iran about reducing its uh, destructive, its negative behavior uh, in the Middle East region, in Syria, in Iraq, uh, in Lebanon, and so forth. So uh, I think they're uh, tightening the noose even harder, and I'm I, I would hope that ultimately this is going to lead to some kind of uh, meaningful discussion, either directly with Iran or with the uh, the other countries that uh, negotiated the joint comprehensive agreement, uh, to see uh, what more we can do uh, to uh, uh, forestall or to prevent uh, the antisocial behavior of Iran in the neighborhood. But obviously, we've carved out special breaks for com uh, countries that do business with Iran now. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if that takes some of the teeth out of this. Well, I think it may relieve some of the pressure. I believe the carve outs uh, limit uh, uh, the uh, ability to buy uh, to, to certain degree levels. In other words, uh, the, the sky is not the limit. Uh, and I think uh, it's also these financial and banking sanctions that are, uh, you know, have got a lot of teeth to them. And, and most importantly, I think, it deters country companies, even in Europe uh, and elsewhere in the world, from wanting to do business with Iran. It kind of says, well, you know, Iran's uh, kind of a no-go area. And uh, when the United States uh, takes a step like that, it seems to have an effect.